Inflation and compression could cause an explosion in silver. Hang around a few minutes and we'll discuss it. It looks like silver may be ready to fly up to the ceiling. We'll check that out in just a few minutes, but first I've got a couple of things I want to talk about, including an approaching trade opportunity. And remember, you can speed up this video by clicking on the gear in the lower right corner of the video and selecting one and a half or one and three quarters under the speed. Also, hang around until the end of the video and I'll share my next trading maxim. I believe I'm on number 11. And yes, I did skip number nine because I wanted to pair that with another one. So at some point, you're going to get two together. <laughs> Remember, these are in no particular order, just the order I wrote them down. <laughs> so how do you like my trading setup here? <laughs> just kidding. Wishful thinking. I found this image on the Internet a long time ago. Besides, I'd probably get dizzy looking at all these monitors, or I'd just play games all the time or something. Okay, we'll get started on silver just a minute after we look at this. This is a live daily chart of the Euro Swissy. You may recall seeing these lines from a couple of weeks back during the Ascending Triangle webinar. I'll link that video below. As you can see, uh, the price may be attacking the support line of this descending triangle. Watch this as price approaches the line to see how it acts. Uh, you'll want to take a short on a close below this line. Uh, you can either place the stop above the triangle or if you want a smaller stop loss uh, use my standard one and a half times the ATR which would be about 60 ish pips at this point I'd also close it if the candle closes back inside the triangle after after you enter the trade okay moving on to the silver chart as usual I'll start on the weekly silver chart to add support and resistance lines if you want to see how I draw these lines, check out the Euro USD analysis video. Uh, you can click the link in the upper right now or see the link in the description below later on. Uh, in addition to these levels uh, here, I've noticed that the volume average and the ATR, which is volatility, have been uh, in a downtrend since early 2017. So we'll talk about that in just a minute. Drilling down to the daily chart, price has been in an uptrend channel uh, for about six months or so, and it appears to be stalling at the uh, 1565 level right in here. Uh, and in keeping with the channel, I think the price is going to continue to attack this 1565 level, uh, possibly even pulling back to the channel back here um, again. But eventually, it's going to break this level and head up to the 1622 uh, and beyond. Um, you probably notice that I don't ever draw just straight up lines and stuff. Uh, that's because we have to expect the market to breathe. It moves, it breathes, it moves, it's just what it does. Traders buy, then they take profit at some point, some point um, stalling the uh, price or, or causing it to pull back a little bit. Uh, you'll also notice that there's a bit of a divergence in the RSI right here on this push-up. So, uh, you know, we could be looking at a little bit more downside before before pushing up uh, and attacking these levels here. Here's what really interests me about this chart, though. Um, as I mentioned before, volume and volatility have been compressing since early 2017. Uh, and you can see here that the volume and volatility downtrend has uh, accelerated since early 2018. So uh, that kind of suggests an ever-increasing lack of interest in silver. But come on, it's silver, right? Uh, something's going to spark an interest and suddenly it'll explode and we need to be ready for it. I would consider taking this long on a close above the 1565 level uh, or a pullback to the uh, to the trend channel or the bottom of the trend channel. Uh, but what I'm really interested in seeing is a break of this line in the volume. If it happens with a break of the support and resistance level, I'll be on that. I'll be on that hard. So watch for it. 
Okay, you made it this far. Awesome. Let's uh, talk about the 11th trading maxim. I love this one because it reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> Don't practice until you get it right. Practice until you can't get it wrong. I learned this as a kid from one of my piano teachers. It stuck with me for all of these years. I say it to myself whenever I'm practicing something, whether it's trading or riding or running or lifting or rock climbing or whatever happens to be the thing I'm doing at the time. If this video has been helpful to you, please click the thumbs up below and please subscribe and hit the bell. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next time.